Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be reading chapter 11 of Hebrews. To have faith is to be sure of the things we hope for, to be certain of the things we cannot see. It was by their faith that the men of ancient times won God's approval. It was by faith that we understand that the universe was created by God's word so that we can see what made out of what cannot be seen. It was faith that made Abel offer to God a better sacrifice than Cain's. Through his faith, he won God's approval as a righteous man. For God himself approved his gifts. By means of his faith, Abel still speaks even though he is dead. It was faith that kept Enoch from dying. Instead, he was taken up to God, and nobody could find him because God had taken him up. The scripture said that before Enoch was taken up, he had pleased God. No man can please God without faith. For he who comes to God must have faith that God exists and rewards those who seek him. It was faith that made Noah hear God's warnings about things in the future that he could not see. He obeyed God and built an ark in which he and his family were saved. In this way he condemned the world and received from God the righteousness that came by faith. It was faith that made Abraham obey when God called him and go out to the country which God had promised to give him. He left his own country without knowing where he was going. By faith he lived in the country that God had promised him. As though he were a foreigner, he lived in tents with Isaac and Jacob, who was received the same promise from God. For Abraham was waiting for the city which God had designed and built, the city where the permanent foundations. It was faith that made Abraham able to become a father, even though he was too old and Sarah herself was unable to have children. He trusted God to keep his promise, though he was practically dead. From this one man there came as many descendants as there are stars in the sky, as many of the numberless grains of the sand on the seashore. It was in faith that all these persons died. They did not receive the things God had promised, but from a long way off they saw and welcomed them and admitted openly that they were foreigners and refugees on earth. Those who say such things make it clear they are not looking for a country of their own. They did not think back to the country they had left. If they had, they would have had a chance to return. Instead, it was a better country they longed for, the heavenly country. And so God is not ashamed to have them call heir their God, for he prepared a city for them. It was faith that made Abraham offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice when God put Abraham to the test. Abraham was the one to whom God had made his promise. Yet he was ready to offer his only son as a sacrifice. God had said to him, it is through Isaac that you will have descendants. Abraham reckoned that God was able to raise Isaac back from the dead. And so to speak, Abraham did receive Isaac back from the death. It was faith that made Isaac promise blessings from the future to Jacob and Esau. It was faith that made Jacob bless each of the sons of Joseph just before he died. He leaned on the top of his walking stick and worshiped God. It was faith that made Joseph when he was about to die, speak of the departure of the Israelites from Egypt and leave instructions about what should be done with his body. It was faith that made the parents of Moses hide him for three months after he was born. They saw that he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid to disobey the king's order. It was faith that made Moses, who he was when he was grown, refuse to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He preferred to suffer with God's people rather than enjoy sin for a little while. He reckoned that to suffer scorn for the Messiah was worth far more than any treasure of Egypt. But as he kept his eyes on the future reward, it was faith that made Moses leave Egypt without being afraid of the king's anger. He would not turn back as though he, was, though he saw the invisible God. It was faith that made him establish the Passover and order the blood sprinkled on the doors, so the angel of death would not kill the firstborn sons of the Israelites. 
It was faith that enabled the Israelites to cross the Red Sea, as if on dry land. When the Egyptians tried to do it, the water swallowed them up. It was faith that made the walls of Jericho fall down after the Israelites had marched around them for seven days. It was faith that kept the harlot Rahab from being killed with those who disobeyed God because she gave the spies a friendly welcome. Should I go on? There isn't enough time for me to speak of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Sam, Samuel, and the prophets. Through faith, they were whole countries in one. They fought whole countries in one. They did what was right and received what God had promised. They shut the mouths of lions, put out fierce fires, escaped being killed by the sword. They were weak but became strong. They were mighty in battle and defeated the armies of foreigners. Through faith, women received their dead raised back to life. Others refusing to accept freedom died under torture in order to be raised from a better life. Some were mocked and whipped, and others were tied up and put in prison. They were stoned, they were sawed in two, they were killed with a sword, they went around clothed in skins of sheep or goats, poor, persecuted, and mistreated. The world was not good enough for them. They wandered like refugees in the desert and hills, living in caves and holes in the ground. What a record those men have won by their faith. Yet they did not receive what God had promised. For God had decided on an even better plan for us. His purpose was that they would be made perfect only with us. So to summarize, chapter 11 of Hebrews is a recollection or an account of all of the Old Testament heroes that had faith and did wonderful things but yet struggled and struggled in their faith, but yet remained faithful. So we too as Christians should remain faithful even though these times are hard. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will read chapter 10 next.